everybody, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to um, make a part so that if you were to um, if you were to click on a button, you would make a part in your workspace. So let's start off right away. So first we're gonna go up to our works. Well, first actually we have to make like a little model if you want. Just make make a just put a part in Studio and um, yeah. So first what we're gonna do. Well, secondly we're gonna hit plus on workspace. We're going to click folder and we're going to rename folder to part folder. Then we're going to name our model or part to click panel. That's what I'm going to name it at least. You can name it to anything you want. Just make sure you remember the name. So yeah, I named it click panel. Then we're going to scroll through here and find, oh, right away. This is the part that I want to click. So I'm going to name it click. Just, so yeah, just name it click. And then click the plus and insert a click detector. Click the plus again and then insert a script. Inside of the script, just delete the the uh, print hello world as that will just print in your in your um in your output, which I don't have open right now. So first, what we are going to do is we are going to make what is called a variable. Variables can shorten code and make it a lot easier to write. It just you know, it helps you clean up your code. So what we're going to do is we're going to write local click detect Local click de I can't spell detector equals um workspace. Then so when, whenever we say workspace, we're just referencing the workspace instead of saying game dot workspace. We're shortening a variable, which is interesting. And then we're gonna say dot click panel. Then we're gonna say dot click dot click detector. So this is just find. So when we say click panel, it's finding the model in the workspace. When we say click we're finding the um the part. Sorry if you're anything. It's my little brother being annoying. Um, then we're finding click detector. Now I go down and I write function. So we're gonna make a function right now, and then we're gonna name this function on click. You can name it whatever you want, and then I can make parentheses right. I, can, I just make some parentheses. This will create a function. Then we're gonna make an argument inside our function called part. So now we can go down here. We hit enter, and we'll hit part equals instance dot new whenever we say instance dot new we're using what's called instancing instancing is the feature in Roblox studio that allows you to like create something so you're like instancing it into studio so you're just creating something then we can do quotation marks and let's just type in part so now we go down to our next line so that we just kind of define what part means there and now we can do part dot dot parent equals workspace and then, so you were just setting the parent to the workspace. Now, the reason I had you guys insert that folder is say, so say you're using this in your game, right? To shorten up your code, or well, to make your workspace cleaner, just do part, so, so workspace dot part folder. Because every single part we insert from here, it will go into the part folder. So if I go down now, so I just click enter twice. Um, now on line eight, we will write click detector that's calling our variable from up there dot mouse click then we'll connect our function to it so we just say connect we're just connecting our function then we can say on click get rid of these and boom let's test this this should work so I play or play here and now I go right up to this panel and I click it and boom parts coming you can spam it and all sorts you guys might be able to add a cooldown if you use wait functions. I could always make a part two if you guys wanted on how to make a cooldown. But for now, this is how you can make a simple um, part inserter. If you guys would like the model, just join the server listed in the thing down below. Because that's how you can get all of my tutorial models from at least two years ago um, to now. There's like five models in there already, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.